In this video, I am going to show you how to connect your Android phone to Android Studio to your wireless network. That means no USB cable needed. Wireless pairing is very convenient since you don't need many USB cables to pair and test your app on multiple physical devices. But before we start, let's quickly go over the minimum requirements for wireless debugging. You must ensure that your workstation and device are connected to the same wireless network. Ensure that your device is running Android 11 or higher. Ensure that you have a version of Android Studio later than version 2021.1.1 or September 30th, 2021. Finally, on your workstation, update to the latest version of the SDK platform tools. Now that everything is checked, to start the process, we can either go to the Run Configurations drop-down menu here and select Pair Devices Using Wi-Fi or open the Device Manager Select the physical tab, then click this pair using Wi-Fi button. Either way, this will open the pair device over Wi-Fi window. As you can see here, there are two ways that we can pair over Wi-Fi. Either we pair using a QR code or using a pairing code. As it is written here, to access the QR scanner on your Android phone, you need to go to Develop Options, Wireless Debugging, Pair using QR code. This will open the camera to scan this QR code above. For those who don't know, the developer options are not activated by default. To activate the developer options on your device, you need to go to settings and in the search bar, write build number or go to the about section of the settings and find build number. Once you have it, tap on the build number many times until you see a message like this one. Note that you may need to enter your PIN. You are now a developer. Once that's done, go back to the settings search bar again and this time write wireless debugging, then select it. And of course, here we need to turn on wireless debugging if it is not already. You may be asked to allow debugging on this network. Allow it. Now that's done, we can come here and type on wireless debugging. And as expected, here we have two options, to pair using QR code or pair with a pairing code. For now, we will pair with QR code. So we just need to come here and scan the QR code in Android Studio. As expected, we are connected successfully. Now, if for some reason you cannot use your phone's back camera, the process is almost the same with a pairing code. On your Android phone, tap on pair with a pairing code. Once you have the code from the phone, you can come here, verify that the IP address and port match the one in your device and click pair. Just enter the six digit code then pair. Wait for a while and done. Now we can select the newly connected device here to start debugging our app. Now, even though wireless pairing simplifies greatly the process of pairing multiple devices to test your app, unfortunately, not everyone has access to more than one device. This is why Android Emulator is one of the most needed tools of an Android developer. To learn how to create, manage, and use Android emulators to test your apps, go watch this video or this playlist. I'll see you on the other side.